Hey everyone, ZeroJD here with the X-Play Fans channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Mace Space Shooter. <clears throat> this game's kind of weird because it says Mace here, it says Mace there. When you go to achievements, it says Space Space Shooter. So I'm not sure, so I'm just going to say Space Shooter because it sounds fun. It also uh, is a top-down kind of bullet hell game. Uh, it breaks some of the cardinal rules of bullet hell games, and I'll show you as I play. Uh, there are... Sure, why not? There are three areas. Each one is in segmented to levels of th uh, level of six. I've gotten to level ten, and um, this game's kind of boring at times. Uh, I have it on easy. I'm gonna put it on easy just so I can show you stuff. But uh, it's essentially uh, less projectiles. I th and just like your shield when you get a shield lasts longer. But let's go ahead and play. And I'll uh, kind of talk about it, but it's nothing crazy and not a insane bullet shoot, uh, bullet hell. You shoot with A at the top of the screen. You show, you see the uh, the long bars are extra ships. The small clips are extra are my is my health. On the left, you'll see an arrow going up. That's just uh, the progression of a level, uh, kind of and super basic kind of stuff. At the bottom. You see, I can uh, cycle through weapons. Shield. Uh, the lady is super enthusiastic when you change weapons, and uh, one of the weapons I wish I could show you fairly early is a Vulcan, and she's like Vulcan, and it's great. Uh, one of my favorite things about this game is when you blow stuff up, it sounds like distant fireworks. But uh, like I was saying earlier, this game commits a few cardinal like shmup sins. Uh, one of which is uh, your ship, entire ship is the is the hitbox. The issue with that is though, I have noticed oftentimes that uh, you will take hit from a bullet before the sh uh, imp the thing actually impacts your ship. Uh, another one is that the enemy projectiles are more often than not they are circular, but they are a similar color to your own projectiles, so it does get confusing moving through here uh it is okay it looks okay it feels like it's running slow and i'm not sure if you just saw it now uh but the biggest sin this game commits is you will be shot from off screen and be unable to avoid a lot of stuff so he's off screen and they are shooting at me uh this also happens with bosses where a boss will fall fire a good four to five shots before you even see him on screen but uh it's fairly slow paced. Like, this is as fast as I move. There are no speed power ups as far as I'm aware. Easy is very easy. Uh, another small issue with this game is if you take hits, <clears throat> you are not invulnerable. Like, <clears throat> <clears throat> you will get trapped in a corner and if a ship rams you, uh, you will just continually take damage and you'll die. I've had uh, half a health bar, got caught in a corner by mistake, and then all my health is just gone, and I'm, well, uh, that ship's now gone. Uh, another weird thing this game does is like, let's say you're, it does a normal thing like, hey, you're powering up weapons and stuff like that. But if I pick up a weapon that I don't currently have equipped, it will instantly switch to that weapon, forcing me to kind of switch back. So we'll, so like right now I'm on this one. If I go and grab this, it switches to this one, which I don't like. And let's say I, I I get the like that middle one, which is actually magma, and I want to use the gun. Uh, let's say I get magma for the first time. It's gonna kick me to that magma thing, and I'm gonna have to go and switch all the way back to guns. Uh, other power ups are like just bomb refills, shields, health. Uh, once in a while, I'll get a one up. There is a plasma shot that feels slightly stronger than the the uh, gun, but by the time you get the plasma shot, your gun's all the way leveled up, so why use a plasma shot? One of the weapons actually pierces, like this guy right here, if he gets me caught in a... Oh, like, oh, there, I'm just dead now. Let's see if I get him to pop, touch me again. But a lot of the time, it feels like I'm not even quite touched when I'm taking damage. Uh, another small... Uh pet peeve I have this game is if you look in the upper left your score is going up it feels like it's going up insanely slow it's like I'm shooting stuff and I'm getting a like one thing of one uh, one point 
So it's I'm 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 assuming that on the higher difficulties it'll go up more, but I don't really have an interest to play it anymore. Uh, so it's been about five minutes, and this exact same stage is going. I maybe have about a fifth left of it, and that's a continual thing throughout the game that all the levels feel uh, very very long, and it feels that there are times in the level where they throw so much stuff at you that you. Can, you can't get out of it without taking any damage. Uh, at one point, I thought that maybe different enemies take more damage from different weapons. I haven't ever been able to really prove that. Uh, there is one enemy that seems to take, uh, has like a shield at the front of it, and it takes more damage when you hit him in the butt. But again, like my favorite thing from this is when you kill certain enemies, they pop and it sounds like distant fireworks, and some of the weapons pierce the enemies. And it just, it just, it looks and it sounds really cool. I feel if they had uh, sped up your ship movement and moved your hitbox to the center of your ship, this game would be a zillion times more enjoyable. Uh, each level has, uh, has uh, secrets. They're usually tucked away inside uh, of uh, the um, asteroids, there's the word. So I showed you that first level. Let's go to level seven. Um, my biggest issue with this level is that looks like some of the, these look like the asteroids I was shooting before. They're not. You can actually fly over them. Oh, so it's actually starting me with a uh, assortment of goodies since I bounced ahead. But then because I died, I lost them. Uh, so like uh, for like the last level of each area, it does the normal bullet hell thing. You fight through a level and then you encounter the boss. Uh, here you listen. See, like Vulcan, she's super into it, and then I'm dead. But as you can see here, getting through this on normal does not seem like it'd be fun. Also, uh, when you die, the weapon that you're, you're currently using is de-leveled. So, like, my best suggestion would be like, hey, switch to a weapon you don't really care about. So we're gonna go to easy, pick a level, and we're gonna write to level 10. And this is where I currently at. Get ready. I am ready, thank you. Uh, I believe the level of uh, the power-ups are set. So like, hey, this will always drop at this rock and stuff like that, because I played the first level a few times just to see. Uh, the bumpers are how you change weapons, if anyone's wondering about that. It's really, I want to know what they uh, decided to pick, how they decided, hey, you're going to get this weapon. Let's see if I can kind of, see like, so there's a very clear, these aren't hitting like the front part of your ship. It's very clear that they're not actually hitting you before you actually take damage. and. In a bullet hell game, your awareness of space and kind of being able to know exactly where you'll be hit is very, very important. Even if it is like maybe a few pixels off, that's why a lot of uh, bullet hell games does it in the center of your ship because that is a very defined point and the moment a, something hits it, that's when you take damage. See, that's 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 satisfying. Boop, 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 boop. But uh, this is essentially what I've been doing. Uh, the bosses. Uh, this level did an interesting thing where I'm fairly certain the boss has been kind of swimming around the background, and he kind of swoops in like him right there, and you got to kind of avoid him when he swoops in, which is pretty cool. I think I think it's really cool when they kind of work in like, hey, you can't mess with him right now, but uh, he's coming. He's also, he looks a lot bigger back there. The sense of scale is really weird. Oh, here's uh see, so I'm on a uh, Vulcan now. So it's instantly just gonna switch to that and I'm gonna have to get on back up. Oh, here he is. So I don't think I'm doing damage to him, but it still feels good to shoot him. Maybe I'm 
but yeah, it's just uh, another small issue I've had is uh, power-ups will cover up enemies, so I went to get something before and died. Uh, the achievements are interesting. It's like get 100,000 points, 200,000, beat so-and-so, defeat this many enemies, defeat all levels, or uh, shoot this many times, and you'll have all the achievements. But, uh, well, there are once in a while there's ships that'll come out that you will definitely carry power-ups. The thing is, though, when you destroy them, you can only pick one power-up, uh, and it's usually uh, he will have health or something on him. Health. Also, that happens once in a while that uh, you'll destroy a dude, he'll give you health, and then immediately afterwards, you'll get another health. Uh... One of my favorite uh, power-ups is... Uh, this is actually the ship I was talking about. Cool. One of my favorite power-ups is the... They uh, give you little fighters on your wings. So, like, once you get those, you're essentially fairly unstoppable. But yeah, like, my biggest peeve with this is... Uh, just getting shot from behind. That's a massive no-no for a game like this because you're focusing already enough on the front and around you. Having stuff like shooting you from off screen is a very cheap way to die. And it's, uh, it, it really doesn't feel good when you die because like something that may have gotten past you murdered you. But uh, this is Mace Space Shooter, I guess. I am Zero JD. This was the XBLA fans channel. Um, oh, here's an upload. One up. But uh, they are kind of generous with like, hey, if you died in a level, like, hey, it's game over. But if you want to go back to the main menu and then hit resume, you can start back over with one life left and just keep going and if you're good enough you usually can find a health up or a life up and just keep alive but uh thank you very much for joining me shield. go to a shield pop him out and uh that's about it for this game thank you for so much check out our other videos i am zero jd this was the xlay fans channel thank you for watching have a nice day i got four, 11 of 14 secrets bye